Okay, next tutorial. This time I'm meant to be dressed up as another character from the game Undertale. This time I'm dressed up as Metaton. This character has been requested like crazy, especially since I did my Sans makeup tutorial, which I'll flash that on the screen here if you'd like to learn how to recreate that character, which is another character from Undertale. But since I did that tutorial, there were a flood of requests for this particular makeup, so I thought I'd better do it for you guys. And as always, I'll flash the first few names of the first few people that requested this makeup tutorial on the screen now. Obviously I can't mention everyone's names because this video would go on forever, but here are the first few names. And the very, very, very first person to request it was this person right here. So thank you everyone so much for requesting this makeup. If you'd like to learn how to recreate this makeup, stay tuned. Step one is going to involve blocking out my eyebrows. So as I always do, I'm going to pop a link on the screen here to the tutorial where I teach you guys how to cover your eyebrows so I don't have to recap it in this video. So I'm going to cover my eyebrows and we shall go from there. Then I can take my Snazaroo Clown White and I'm going to apply that all over my face but I'm not going to bother my neck because that area is going to be completely black. Then I can settle that with some Ben Nye Setting Powder in Super White. Just makes it last a bit longer and makes it a bit more matte. So for the face detail, I'm going to go for the second version, the humanoid version of this character because I think the final version where you can see all his hair off his face reveals this piece here on the eye, which is basically just half the face. He's got this like Phantom of the Opera style black mask type thing. Um, so I'm not going to bother with that because I'm going to do the second version where his hair is down. So anything I paint on this side will just get covered with the hair. I might copy the eye makeup. I don't know yet. It depends because you're not going to see a massive lot of it. But mainly I'm just going to focus on this half the face. So then I'm going to take some MAC Chroma Cake Black Watercolour and a really sharp angle brush. And I'm just going to lightly trace on the shape that I want for this metallic half of his face that he has. So there we are, so it doesn't matter how neat it is at this point because I'm just doing it as like a rough guideline. I've got it going straight down and then flicking out. I've had a bit of creative license with this one because it's rather than just being a portion of the face, I thought it might be more interesting to have some different details just to make it a little bit more interesting to look at. And this point here is gonna join onto like a big smoky eye. So now I'm gonna go across the face, bowing slightly under just so it follows the shape of the face, maybe about four to five times going completely outwards towards my ear. Okay, so just really rough for now because I'm going to go in after I've done some shading and neaten everything up and making things darker. So then I can take a MAC paint stick, this is in black, it's just a really dark cream, and I'm going to apply it just to the top lines and then fade the colour downwards so it eventually tapers off into the white. So just on the top halves. I'm also going to make the corners quite dark as well where the lines start. So just go in one direction downwards and not up and down, otherwise you won't get a gradient. So just a really nice gradient going downwards and I've got the darkest point in the corners. Just because I'm going to be putting some white rivets in there I think just to make it look a bit more machiney. Then I'm going to go over these lines again just to darken them up with a Collection 2000 Extreme Felt Eyeliner Pen. So then I'm just going to take the black watercolour and I'm just going to go along my jawline and then paint a little bit of my neck going downwards just so I know where the detail needs to stop. Okay, so it just defines my face a little bit more and it just shows me exactly where I need to stop with the detailing of this side. Then I'm going to take a white MAC Chroma Cake watercolour and the very end a really small brush. I'm just going to dip it in the colour, there's no real need to add any water to it. And then I'm just going to pop this just in the middle of each of these like scales just so it's like a rivet. Yeah, I just think it makes it a little bit more machiney. 
So then onto the eyes. So as I said before, this half would usually be completely black and there'd be no detail on there. But just in case you do see a glimpse of anything there through the hair, I am gonna do both eyes exactly the same, just to really complete the look. So just rather than leaving it blank. So I'm gonna take a Makeup Forever Aqua Cream in black. And I'm going to paint over my eyelid, ever so slightly under my eye, joining this line here together. And I'm going to make a very strong cat eye, so a very strong wing. But I'll just time lapse through this, just so you can see the shape that I'm going to go for, and then I'll blend it out afterwards. Yeah, so a super, super, super big wing. So then I'm just going to take the same cream and I'm going to go in the waterline of my eye on the top and bottom just to make it really dark. Then taking a Sugar Pill Black eyeshadow, so their bulletproof colour, and I'm going to smoke it out, all this line around my eye. I'm going to blend the top out fairly far, but the bottom half is only going to be blended out a tiny little bit. It's just so there's not as harsh an edge. Okay, so as I said, quite smoky on top, but not as smoky underneath. So then you've got the option of copying this side on this side, which is what I'm going to do now. But if you're going to have your hair off your face, you'd have to do the mask that goes across this side instead. Then taking the black watercolor again, I can work on the eyebrows. So they're going to be a little bit higher than my own natural eyebrows, and they're going to be really arched, quite thin. I'm also just going to add in some extra little lines as well. And then for the start, I'm just going to blend the colour outwards so there's a gradient and rather than like a harsh edge. Then I'm going to take the black watercolour again and I'm going to do a similar thing that I've done on my cheek here except it's just going to be a portion of my head here so I'm going to do it in exactly the same way. I'm just going to time lapse through this though because it's just an exact copy of this different shape. Then taking the black paint stick again, I'm going to apply a thin line of it just across my face here. Remember most of this is going to be covered this side, but I'm going to go across and down just for like a more masculine contour. Then I'm just going to blend that colour downwards. So I'm leaving the darkest point along the edge, but mostly here where the cheeks would be at their most sucked in really. So it just makes it look a tiny bit more pretty I suppose. And I'm also going to go down the sides of the nose with the black cream as well. For the lips, I'm going to go off quite a few different drawings of like fan art of this character. A lot of people seem to think that the top lip is black and the bottom lip is pink, so that's what I'm going to go for because it seems quite cute. So I'm going to take the MAC Black Paint Stick and I'm just going to colour in my top lip with a slight curve at the end of the sides just as like a smile. And for the bottom lip, I'm going to take a Wolf Hydra colour in number 32, so a bright pink watercolour, and I'm going to use that to paint on my bottom lip. Then I'm going to go to the top of the pink in an OCC lip tag, this is in Mannequin. Then I'm going to make some rivets on the white area. So I'm just going to cheat to get a perfect like outline. So I'm going to take a small lid, this is from my Collection 2000 Extreme Eyeliner Pen. I'm just going to dip it in the black watercolour. And the idea is, once I press it down, it should give me a perfect circle. I'm just going to do another one. And then a couple more. Then taking a bit more of the black paint stick by MAC, I'm just going to blend half of the circle into itself. So the bottom half is going to be the highlight and the top half is going to be blended downwards. And I'm naked! Yay! <laughs> so then I'm going to take the black wood colour again, and I'm just going to paint the rest of my neck black. So then I'm going to pop in my contact lenses, my costume, my wig, and I think I'm done. And there we go! That's the look complete! So I finished the look off by popping on a long black wig, which I've just given it a side parting and back comb the heck out of it to give it a really big thick fringe. I popped in two really amazing Sclera contact lenses, which are bright pink, which I got from scleraxl.com. I'll pop that link in the description bar below. I was going to put in some regular like 15mm pink lenses, but I thought this gives it a bit more of an impact, I think, and it makes it look a bit more robotic. I don't know. 
the costume is something really crude, I'm really apologise for. I literally stayed up all night last night making this out of just random card that I had lying around, so I hope this is okay. I just think it needs like the big shoulder pads, doesn't it? So <laughs> it's just made with hot glue, paint, cardboard, and a prayer. <laughs> so I hope this is okay. <laughs> So yeah, that's my Metaton tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like it, please make sure to, you know, the usual. Rate, comment, subscribe, and all that jazz. And yeah, so until next time, bye guys.